Welcome to Framework Fortune and welcome back Framework Fortune community. I'm your host Ben and we're going to dive in to a couple of candlestick patterns that you can add to your trading arsenal that will help you know when to sell stocks. Now a lot of times I sell stocks when they get off of the 20 day but sometimes they will continue to run. Now how are we going to be able to tell if they run or not? We're going to look at this candle right here, this middle candle, and then the following candle after it. So PRS ran up today and it got hung up in this 450 area. There wasn't really any way to tell that 450 was going to hold up because this only has a small amount of chart data and there was no resistance back here to see past chart history. This little guy right here, when you have a move up and then it stops for a bit and consolidates, and this is on the five minute, you can have these on the daily, the five minute, the one minute. The longer the time frame, the stronger the candle. And this candle I like to call an indecision candle. There may be a more specific name for it, but indecision is what it is. It's buyers and sellers in a little tug of war and it's undecided which way this stock is going to go because who is going to win the tug of war and the way we tell who's going to win the tug of war is by the following candle but when you see an indecision candle that can easily lead to a sell-off or a rip up depending on where it's at now before we go any further remember i said the longer the time frame the stronger the candle an indecision candle on a one minute chart is probably not going to be that strong Indecision on a 5 minute chart or a 15 minute chart when you're trading intraday, those are going to be pretty strong. If you have an indecision candle on a daily chart, that is going to be extremely strong. But you can see this indecision ended up being a pivot point where the price hit an area and then pivoted downwards. And that's usually what they are is some type of pivot at some support and resistance. A lot of times you don't see indecision candles in the middle of a move up or a middle of a move down. So your indecision candles are pretty much going to look like a doji star candle pattern. If you don't know what a doji star is, it's this right here. It's usually where it turns white because there's so much indecision, neither buyers or sellers win the tug of war, they just land at a standstill. So a doji star and an indecision candle are pretty much going to be the same thing. They may not quite look the same, but basically you're going to have a small candle. It's not going to be a big candle, green or red, for an indecision candle. It's going to be a very small candle. The body smushed together with a upper wick and a lower wick. If you've watched the Understanding Candles video, you know that upper wicks and lower wicks is the price during the open of the candle until the candle closes fill in the body so when the candle does close you're going to be looking for something like this anytime you come to some support and resistance now 450 every 25 cents is a natural support and resistance line so if you keep that in mind and you see an indecision candle like this then you know okay well we don't have it on the past chart history we do know it's natural and this just made an indecision candle so how do we know which way it's going to go after the indecision the candle that follows so for this to continue to rip that next candle would have had to have turned green and pushed above the body of this candle when you get that that is called an engulfing candle and that would be a bullish engulfing candle bullish because we're going up but it didn't do that it didn't even get to the top of the body of this candle instead it started dropping and when it cracked below the body of this candle, that's when you know that, oh, sellers won this tug of war after the indecision, so we're going to start having a sell-off. And you see the sellers push this down until we hit another little doji star, another little indecision candle. And what happened on the next candle? It dropped below the body of this candle and sold off even lower. And even though it did get a little buy in there, it came back up got some more indecision candles. Big upper wicks usually mean selling pressure. Buyers cannot push the bodies of these candles up. So that selling pressure pushed it down. And when this candle opened and dropped below the body of this candle, 
it continued to sell off. So to remember an engulfing candle, and you don't have to call it an engulfing candle if you don't want to, that's just the technical term, think of it as a Pac-Man candle. Yes, the little yellow guy who likes to eat the ghost. You want a Pac-Man candle that is going to be bigger than the indecision body. If this candle right here was to be Pac-Man, it would eat this little tiny ghost candle right here. So if we look further down the chart, we have another indecision candle after this sell-off. And where's this indecision candle at? Right above the 50-day and right across these candles right here. So there was support there. So you got an indecision candle above support. And then the next candle, look what it did. Green body pushed up over the body of the indecision candle. And then this continued to run. It did make another indecision candle there. But same thing green again continued to run so just off of these indecision candles and the following pac-man candle we can tell which direction the stock is heading in that's why i sold up here on this position because i saw the indecision but you see i didn't sell in the indecision candle i waited for the next candle and you see my sell order there and waited for it to start dropping 438 is where I sold at, and that was right here after it dropped below the whole entire indecision candle. So you want to sell on the Pac-Man candle. Now as far as buying, we draw the support line right here across this 1415 area. Indecision candle right above that support. We wait for the decision, the Pac-Man candle next, and you could have got in there. Might have been a little shaky, but even when it dropped there, you still had another indecision candle above that support, so you could still hold until you get a Pac-Man candle to the downside dropping below this candle. But it didn't drop an indecision there, and then we got the next Pac-Man candle, and it continued to run up. So you can find entries at support with these indecision candles and the following engulfing candle, and you can find exits at resistances with an indecision candle below the resistance with the following bearish engulfing candle. So if you have any questions about these candles, let me know down in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out the day trading lesson playlist yet, be sure to go dive into there because there's plenty more content to learn day trading and swing trading. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Remember, we're at war with that YouTube algorithm. Smash that like button, teach them a lesson. Stay safe out there. Until next time.